uh, professor. Say what? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello there. My name is, um, never mind. The video you're watching is about animal cell structure. There are about a hundred trillion cells in the human body. Cells are also known as the building blocks of life. Every building block of life has building blocks of its own. Every cell has a structure of its own. We start out with a cell membrane. It is semi-permeable, which means it only lets certain things in or out. Filling the cell is a jelly-like substance called cytoplasm. Next, we have the nucleus, the command center of the cell. It does its job by controlling protein synthesis, the process of making proteins. It also contains DNA assembled into chromosomes. Inside the nucleus, there is the nucleolus. What it does is create ribosomes. Ribosomes create proteins in a process called protein synthesis. Surrounding the nucleus is a nuclear membrane. Materials can move from the nucleus to the cytoplasm through nuclear pores in the nuclear membrane. Next we have endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. There are two different types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is covered with ribosomes, giving it a rough appearance. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum is not covered with ribosomes. Rough ER transports material through the cell and produces proteins in sacs called cistern. Smooth ER makes proteins and lipids that will be exported by the cell. Then there are mitochondria. These can be considered the power plants of the cell. They convert the energy stored in sugar to adenosine triphosphate or ATP. This is the primary energy that cells need to survive. Next we have lysosomes. They contain digestive enzymes. Nutrients are digested by the cell here as well as old cell organelles that are going to be recycled. After that we have vacuoles. Vacuoles fill with food being digested and waste material that is on its way out of the cell. Finally, we have a Golgi body. The Golgi body modifies and packages proteins and carbohydrates into membrane-bound vesicles. Normally, the Golgi body would be shaped like a stack of pancakes, but as I'm using Legos, I could not really get them to bend like a stack of pancakes. And that is my diagram of the parts of an animal cell. Not a plant cell. An animal cell. Oh my god. Or a human cell. Or in this case, a monkey cell. Uh, what? what? Precisely!